Hello everyone, welcome to today's relevant read. So guys, in today's read, we're going to be looking at this fascinating article from LinkedIn. So this is coming from the LinkedIn official blog. And it talks about announcing skill assessments to help you showcase your skills. Right? Announcing skill assessments to help you showcase your skills. Let me zoom in here for a second. So guys, you know on this channel, we talk about technology tips, career advice, and some inspiration. I think that this definitely fits squarely into what we talk about. And before we dive into this, you know, the question usually is, well, I am in technology or I'm looking to get into technology or I'm looking to advance my career, but I have no idea how to showcase my skills, right? You might be competent in Java, you might be competent in C++, uh, C++ or C Sharp or something, right? Or databases uh, or architecture. How do you showcase that to employers uh, so that you can be hired to get the job, right? One way is to write it all on your resumes. But again, your resume is just you writing stuff down. So how can you know someone really trust your resume? I mean, I guess people should trust your resume if you write something down from just from an integrity perspective. But there are other ways to to get that validation. And uh, what this article is talking about is an approach that LinkedIn, and we all know LinkedIn when it comes to jobs and the professional life, is a very uh, powerful tool. So we all know LinkedIn, you know, is really uh, uh, you know striving to provide. Uh, a tool that can help in that regard all right so uh, this would be a relevant read the link to this article will be in the description there are a lot of uh, links within this article itself I might open some of them but what I really encourage you to do is to just go down into the very first link in the description click on it so you can see this article for yourself and if this article is helpful to you guys definitely make sure you share it with anybody that might get uh, value out of it share this video to them or share the article with them subscribe on our channel that would really help us grow and continue to provide a value now the article is coming from john uh jersin i believe he's uh, an employee at linkedin all right so let's just zoom in here for a second uh, the very first thing as i went through this article was this quote that caught my attention right 76 percent of professionals wish there was a way for employers to verify their skills so they stand out among other candidates Right, so 76% uh, of professional wish there was a way for employers to verify the skills so that they can stand out amongst other candidates. All right, you're going for a job interview, you know Java. How can an employer verify that you know Java? All right, you can write it on your resume that, sure, I know Java, but how can you prove it? Unless you go take a Java certification somewhere, right? Or you go take a, an Oracle certification, or you go take a SQL certification, or a Hive or Big Data or Spark certification, all right? Um, that to showcase that because that's from a third party verifying that or you can leverage something like you know what LinkedIn is proposing here uh, to do an assessment within your platform uh, go through a quiz and a couple of questions and answers uh, and if you pass then sure you can definitely you know show that you know you're competent in that skill right I don't think it's foolproof right I don't think this is totally foolproof but it's just a starting point uh, that you can definitely leverage to showcase your skills and hopefully get an edge you know during the hiring uh, process so it, it kind of goes down into having a discussions around why um, uh, why you know the assessment is powerful right and here it says let me zoom in again for a second each skill assessment whether it's Adobe Photoshop to showcase your design skills or Java to learn a developer role is constructed through rigorous content creation and a review process in partnership with LinkedIn learning industry and subject matter expert, right? So um, it's kind of like an adaptive assessment, um, and this is in, done in partnership with LinkedIn learning and subject matter expert. From a LinkedIn perspective, I could see their motivation for doing this, right? LinkedIn is already a career uh, platform, and if you're lacking in a skill, guess what? They can point you now to LinkedIn learning, uh, which is a service. I think it's a paid service where you can then go to, to skill up or to level up on things that you might be missing on so I don't think this is all altruistic of course LinkedIn is a company uh, it's a business and businesses are out to make money all right so uh, definitely have that at the back of, of the mind hirers are able to quickly identify uh, verify skill uh, proficiency so if you're hiring if you think about this from a hiring perspective and you're looking for somebody who knows Java how can you validate that this person does know Java, right? You can bring them in and do a quiz to them at, at your company, 
or LinkedIn is very reputable, you can rely on the assessment that LinkedIn does. And this is where this really becomes uh, relevant. All right. And this is another article that kind of goes through that. And I'll, I'll go on my LinkedIn profile and show this. So what are some of the benefits of, the, of this? You can show off your skills, right? If you know Java, right? I think LinkedIn now has a way to show, and I'm going to go to my LinkedIn profile here for a second. Uh, if you know uh, a, a specific skill, so let me go to my LinkedIn profile. I'll zoom in here for a second. So if you go below, LinkedIn does have a way to showcase your skills and, and such, right? And uh, you can add a skill here and people can endorse you on that particular skill. So for example, I have uh, a couple of skills here on, on leadership on Hadoop. And I believe there is, uh, I have, uh, I should have way more skills. Uh, listed here databases and, and such all right now how how can I verify that you know I know it or I know Java or, or, or databases now what LinkedIn has offered and before I come into taking the skill assessment I'm, I'm gonna uh, go through the article first so uh, once you've done the assessment then you can see here validated that you're competent in that skill uh, because you successfully passed the assessment so that's really where it's powerful to show off your skills all right and you can quickly see it on whether you're working with mobile or on desktop you can see it and if you're missing in a particular skill and you need to level up let's say you're working on Java then LinkedIn offers courses uh, in the in the LinkedIn Academy uh, that you can then leverage uh, to to show off your skills I'm trying to see where I can find the LinkedIn Academy well I can't quite find it but yeah I think there will be a LinkedIn Academy where you can now go up and level your skills but the whole idea is you have this very visible on, on your profile and so when an employer lands they can say all right Excel they know Excel C sharp they know C sharp C++ Java databases Oracle whatever it is they can quickly uh, see that on 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 your profile all right and then if you if you uh, uh, didn't perform well in uh, in a particular assessment I'm just reading this here for a second if you didn't perform well in a particular assessment then you can go ahead to take the the training uh, with, within LinkedIn Academy so let's go into my profile so this is my profile on LinkedIn if I zoom in here for a second let's say I wanted to uh, take a skill quiz in a particular subject right it could be C sharp it could be C++ Hadoop Excel AutoCAD Git right let's just take git for example um I hope, which one did i choose let's try this again let's take uh git as an example all right it says the quiz is about 15 to 20 minutes time it's multiple choice 15 minutes duration 70 percent are required to pass to get a badge right so if you pass then you get a badge right and if you don't pass uh bear with me if you don't pass you can retry after three months all right i think they give you that three months just so you can uh you can learn right and the git, the git assessment here covers everything from commands uh, tracking fundamentals modifications upstream workflows let's see if i was doing uh c sharp for example it would cover link uh, testing uh, generics iterators and variables and if i was doing uh, my good friend here hadoop uh, map reduce of course using hadoop hadoop command uh, Hadoop concepts, uh, Hadoop components. All right. So, uh, if you even learn Hadoop, and it, I don't think it hurts. It, it doesn't hurt, right? If you're competent at this, I think it should just take a few minutes to be able to go through that. So let's see. Show more quizzes. There's everything from R, Ruby, or Rails, WordPress. All right. And I'm sure they're gonna be adding a, a lot more assessments here uh, for you to be able to leverage this to showcase um, your skills. All right. I wouldn't be able to do any of the quiz here. Um, today let's see AWS DevOps billing compute storage security all right so I wouldn't be able to do any of the quiz here but it's definitely something you can check out guys um, you know uh, I'm sure if you go through the process it's gonna you know put a badge or a, a, a verification on your profile and that that keeps helping right you know someone who has a badge and someone who doesn't guess who stands out the person who took that extra step to get that badge and so this could be a very powerful a tool to leverage uh, within the job searching process to stand out all right guys i hope this helps this was just a relevant read i wanted to share share with you guys 
uh, announcing skill assessments to help showcase your skills. As you can see, the article is very recent uh, as of making this video. I'm not sure what time you're gonna be watching this video, uh, but I'm sure you know this platform will be here for a while. So again, um, this is a very recent publication, but something that could be very, very powerful. All right, guys, as always, the link to this will be in the description below, the very first link. Uh, definitely check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have a link uh, that is a relevant link and you think it's worth sharing, please, please, please do reach out to me with it. All right, thanks for joining. Uh, I will see you in the next relevant read.